Alrighty guys, so we're checking out the fixed uh, little gizmo gadget thing here. So basically what this is supposed to do is this is a little uh, sensor and it's going to plug right into your vehicle's port where you plug into, like where when you take your car to the mechanic, they plug their thing in and um, it tells them what's wrong with the car. Uh, so this is basically like a little kind of a mechanic in a box, if you will. Uh, boy, I don't know what to think about it. Um, we're checking it out. I'm giving you guys a review on it. Uh, this is a 1999 F350 with a Power Stroke diesel motor. Uh, it does have a chip. It has a Banks um, Stinger kit in it. So I don't know if those things are going to be compatible with each other. But so far, it seems as though it's it's working. So basically what you do is you take the little chip, you're going to follow the directions, you're going to go ahead and you're going to find the fixed app and you're going to download it. Basically, I was able to do this in about five minutes or less. Download the app. Do not open the app until step four. Make sure your Bluetooth is enabled on your smartphone. This can be accomplished through the settings of your menu device. Turn your vehicle on and leave the engine running for five seconds before opening the fixed app. Open the fixed app and tap register to put your information in. We've already done that. Uh, input fixed sensor code located in the back of your sensor. So on the back of the sensor, there's a code. You basically type that into the app. Uh, you're gonna plug it in here, here, or here. Uh, this one's kind of directly under the steering column, kind of right, of, right about there. Um, <clears throat> the port is commonly located between, beneath the dash. Install the fixed app. Name your fixed app sensor, hit register, blah, 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 blah. So we did all that. Uh, it was a little weird. It did make it, it did make the vehicle jump. Um, the vehicle skipped for a second. All of the sensors and lights in the dash went off. So I was kind of a little bit worried. Um, and then the vehicle died. So I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not, but it started back up. All the lights went off and then uh, I opened up the app and everything in there seems to be doing okay. It's gonna do things like help you find a mechanic. It's gonna do things like keep track of your tire wear, oil changes, um, all that kind of stuff. And it's gonna give you readings on, you know, if your vehicle's getting hot or, you know, if things are happening, it's gonna send an alert to your phone. It's basically at least letting you know and giving you some kind of an idea of what it is that's wrong with your vehicle. So when you do take it into a mechanic, they're not gonna just start selling you parts that you don't need. Um, and that's the biggest thing behind it. Now, I have a really good relationship with my mechanic and really, I didn't buy this to uh, kind of check up on them. I just bought it uh, to see if it worked and then give you guys a review and a test. So that's pretty much where we're at. This is day one. I will give you guys an updated review as it comes later. Thanks for watching. So far, so good.